struggling. Cut at the bottom. All right. We are Facebook Live. And we're about to come bring our radio audience in, um, live radio audience in. Yeah, it should be in a couple of seconds. A couple of seconds, simulcasting. Yeah. Um, yeah. We were some of the brothers from the Body of Christ Church. Right. Yeah, we were some of the brothers from the Body of Christ Church, and we're coming out here to you live, um, synchronizing Facebook Live and over the radio airwaves from uh, Buffalo, New York. And uh, tell them about the show that we're going to put out. All right, what we're going to deal with is we're going to deal with a show, and the title of the show is uh, The Prince of the Power of the Air. And what we're going to deal with is we're going to deal with the influences that we deal have to understand that are influencing us and that are bringing us to a point where we uh, uh, settle into behaviors Based on what mass manipulation and so on and so forth, because the scripture, what societal engineering, it basically is what it is. That's what they'll uh, a, a common term will be. But real quick, let's go to Ephesians uh, the sixth chapter, and then I, I, I'm gonna bring something else out real okay. quick to, to start it off. We'll go to since Ephesians the sixth chapter, okay. the one about the principalities and high places and so on and so forth. Yep, um, Ephesians six. I'm gonna start at eleven. Right. Put on, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Right. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So what we dealing with is we dealing with wrestling. It's not a physical battle, right, that we dealing with. It's a spiritual battle. Of what wickedness in high places and the rulers of darkness in this world, because whether you know it or not, um, what has been done on this planet continually, once we decided as a people to choose to deal with our understanding and not the understanding of the Most High, mm -hmm. what has developed is a bunch of philosophies and um, demonology. Um, uh, what do you can you say? Uh, dark spiritual evil. Uh, left hand uh, side of knowledge. There you go, left hand side of knowledge. Not the right the side. And then all the wicked side. And what we have to deal with is we have to understand that it's a constant battle with us and we have to mm -hmm. steer our way out of that. Mm -hmm. So when we deal with the prince of the power of the air, you know, we have to understand that there's always been an evil force out there to develop you in whatever lust that goes contrary to the scriptures for you to proceed and, uh, I guess, uh, progress or develop an understanding of how to deal with those evil lusts that take you away from what? The Father. And, and you know, real quick, um, mm -hmm. it's, it all boils down to and is summed up in how Adam and Eve interacted with the tempter in the Garden of Eden. Thank you. Because if they would have checked that idea, no mm -hmm. matter where it's coming from, external, internal, whatever, mm -hmm. if they would have checked it, the world and their world will be all good. Right. So the thing is, is this. When you examine it, why it says it's a battle for us, because Eve did not get so much as tricked into the understanding that she went into in the uh, garden. Her lust dictated where she wanted to exactly, go. Exactly. And that's, that's what the battle is. We have to battle our lust. And the understanding has to be directed back to the Most High so we can avoid the what? pursuits that we might have or want or desires of the flesh, the base nature of man, avoid those things to what? Follow the Most High's Word. That's exactly. the thing. Exactly. That's why we have to understand that there is an overriding force on the planet to steer us and guide us into what? That which is not convenient in the sight of the Most High. And it's not, it's not comedic. Right. So now, <laughs> let's deal with Ephesians, the second chapter. And let's deal with verse 1 through 3. If he, and, okay. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. Ephesians 2, uh, 1 through 3. Mm -hmm. And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also... We all had our conversation in times past in the lusts of our flesh, 
fulfilling the desires of the flesh and by and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. So now that's pretty capsulizing mm -hmm. the whole point about what yep. happens to us. What we do is we go into our own dictates. And it's even sped up now because of what the, the moles of, uh, I guess, uh, influence now yeah. are like instantaneous, right? Yeah. You get like um, Facebook, everybody has a device. Yeah. Like I always tell people when I talk to them, listen, you got an instant encyclopedia and fact checker right in your hand. Everybody has one. Yeah. Everyone wants yeah, Why yeah, are yeah. you ignorant? You're yeah. ignorant because that's what you want to be. No different than you. The thing about it is it says in, in, in Ephesians 2 verse 1, and you have he quickened. The he is talking about is Christ. And the, the quickening is what? Bringing back to life. Because what did he deliver us? He delivered us the understanding of how to clean ourselves from the pollutions and the wickedness of the earth that have we've been inundated with and our minds have been infiltrated through the will of Satan, the prince of the power of the air, uh -huh. to do what? Get right once again with the Most High. And it's all a process of the mind. It's nothing, you know, join this group or be in this group or I'm this king guru and this that we want to follow men. We going back to what Paul said our problem was from the beginning. We start to worship the creature more, more than, than the creator. creator. In Romans 1, Paul says that. So when we do these things, we don't understand that we're losing right from the beginning. Why? Mm -hmm. Because the scriptures tell us that we have to deal with Christ. He's the king. He's the beginning and he's the end for us. Yep. And this is the thing. It says, what did he do? When we were in time past, he walked according to... To, to the, the course, course of, of this world, world, according to the prince of the power of the air, and the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, because what? Whatever floats your boat. Mm -hmm. Any new thing that came that appealed to your lust, you went into it. Mm -hmm. Now, there's mechanisms in place, according to what? Satan and the world, that cause you to go down these lines and molds, and if you really think about it, and understand it, and think back on your life, you will understand it, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And we're going to give you some examples today when we when we go on through this class on what is going on. Yep. So now, it says, among whom also we all had our conversation in time past, in the what? The lust, lust of, of our, our flesh, flesh, the base nature, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, because that's what has to be fixed. The mind has to be fixed. Exactly. And were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. So when Christ came teaching repentance, that's what he was giving us, an understanding on how to fix the main mechanism that has to be repaired, the mind. Because repentance is a what? Active participant thing that you have to do with this word in your mind. Yes. You have to reflect what the scriptures say is right to do based on the scriptures and refrain from the things that the scriptures say is not right to do. Right? Yep. So when we look at this, people think it's like mystical when we say the prince of the power of the air. But it's not. In ancient times, it could have been simple, like Roman. What did they do a lot to the, 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 the manipulate masses of people? They made <clears throat> things like the gladiatorial games, mm -hmm. right? Kept the people. Bread and yep. circus, feed them, give them yep. entertainment. Get them right? bread and circuses and they will never revolt. And then the people would go to an arena, think about this, to watch people fight to the death and be like like we do, like our favorite football team. Yep. That's where this stuff comes from. Yeah. All these things that we're dealing with in modern time can be traced back to what? Ancient time. Mm -hmm. It was no different then. And what happens? It's mass manipulation. What? Okay, two men are killing them, fighting to the death for what? Entertainment. Yeah. And because the God King, the Caesar at the time, said so. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And this is what is accepted. Yeah. No different than the manipulation that we deal with now. Now, what I'm going to deal with, I'm going to go through a time capsule because I can, because I'm old enough to remember how these... How the prince of the power of the air works. See, people looking for something real mystical. No, yeah. it's right in front of you, if you well, understand. Hold up, wait a minute. What? You mean we're not going to go uh, uh, give any links to any uh, 
creepy Illuminati websites with creepy music playing in the no. background that dictate how this stuff works out? You mean it's all in the Bible? No, because this is what the problem <laughs> is. People are always trying to be deep. And the scriptures talk about in 2 Corinthians 11 and th the third verse, it says the simplicity, not complexity, of Christ. That's what's going to help us. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to save us ultimately in the end. Uh -huh. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set something up. And I know for some people, because they don't understand, I'm going to have to do a little history lesson. Back when I was a kid growing up in the 60s, uh -huh. right, there were certain things that was the prince of the power of the air or media manipulation. Because that's one of the biggest tools they use. The mass media, why? Because it can manipulate masses. Okay. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, and they just came out with a study uh, the other day or a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. that showed how they had um, undue government influence mm -hmm. in many movies and TV shows. Right. And about how they, so they, they could steer the populace toward mm -hmm. a certain train of thought it's the, according to whatever dynamic right. they feed you. If you live out here, mm -hmm. over here, and you with these people, right. you think this way. If you over here with right. these people, you think that way. So basically what you're saying is, is that the government and the powers that be are what? Dealing in spiritual wickedness on high levels and darkness and so on and so forth. Because why would you be trying to steer people to anything other than righteousness? See, that's the key. And that, that, that's, that, is, that right. sums it so, up all exactly, right there. Right. So now let me play this clip. Because back in the 60s when I was growing up, you know, certain things would be going on, you know, like that was the so-called upliftment movement, the free love, drugs, and counterculture, and so on and so forth. All these things going on, but it was also other things going on, too, that manipulation. Because I lived in an urban area. I grew up in the Jefferson Projects in Buffalo mm -hmm. for, what, 9 to 10 11 years of my life? I was okay. born there. I think okay. we moved out when I was 10 or 11. Okay. Right? okay. So we saw gangs, no, no different yeah. than what you saw reassurge in what, the mid 80s, late, uh, going yeah, into the 90s. 90s yeah. We saw heroin, it wasn't cocaine, it was heroin. Yep. Heroin dens. You couldn't tell yep. me, you can't tell me really nothing about somebody on heroin. Yes. Yeah, so because I used to walk out my building and see them nodding on a bench early in the morning. On your way to school. On my way to and, school. And, and so, what, so what you're saying is you saw heroin usage. Before it was a disease. Exactly. Before they made safe exactly. spaces. Well. Okay. Exactly. Right. Okay, I just exactly. wanted to... Exactly. Okay, all right. So, and that was the time when they started to what? Destroy Harlem, which was like a black mecca. Yeah. With what? Heroin. Yeah. So now, all these things happened, but then look at what started going on with the mass manipulation and darkness. I'm going to play a clip. And this is a movie. A very, very what? Famous movie clip. Iconic scene. Between... Eddie and young blood priest okay. in the movie Superfly. Okay. So I'm just gonna play the clip and I want everybody to listen. Okay. Fantasy in your head about getting out of the life and setting that other world on its ear. What the f are you gonna do except hustle? Besides pimping. You really ain't got the stomach for that. Now, man, I ain't putting you down. If it wasn't for you, I probably wouldn't be here. I'd be OD'd someplace. I'm just trying to make it real, baby, like it is. I mean, maybe this is what you supposed to do. Maybe this is what you're growing to. I mean, just think about it. Don't throw it out. Just, just think about it. You know what? I'm thinking about 30 keys. Let's get this on the road. Cut it. Sock it. Zack it. No I'm your mama, I'm your daddy, I'm that nigga in the alley, I'm your... Hey, 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 hey. You we, here's some coke, has some weed, right? Okay. So, this is the thing. So now... When you look at the Prince of the Power of the Air, what effect did that movie and the things they were pushing? Because everybody was trying to be Ryan O'Neill, Ryan O'Neill, whatever his name is, Kevin yeah. Lockhart, yeah. hustler, yeah. Yo. Hold player, on. pimp, all these Negroes running around in the urban areas with clown costumes on, collars on their shirts down to their damn knee. 
platform heels this high, walking around looking like they're going to a damn masking, unmasking Halloween party. Yo, you forgot. And, and all these things went on. Why? Because they were what? Manipulated and brainwashed. Oh, that's cool. To deal with darkness. That's Sell cool. poison to your people. Pimp your sisters and daughters out. And this is what happens when we don't understand how we being manipulated by the what? Prince of the power of the air. Boy, you, and, you, you forgot. Everybody had to have a, a, a grand fury. Mm. Or, uh, or a 98 L-Dog right. Fleetwood Broham right. or right. something like that. And you had the big right. round things on the headlights. Right. So everybody had to have a phone antenna. Right. And everybody had to have a big antenna on the back. And right. all this other, the chrome added. Everybody See, was doing stuff to their cars because that was cool. Right. See, the thing about it is they had to come with something to destroy people because the counterculture was not going in line with the powers that be. Uh -huh. Because they're embedded in Satan. What was going on? The revolutionary talk, the uh, people power movements, not just black. You have, yeah. But you had yeah. people power movements. Yep. So they had to come with something to counter that, you know, mm -hmm. to bring what? The degradation and destruction So down. that you would rely on so them. So instead of walking around with afros and talking about black power, you walking around with curls as a man. Curlers in your hair because you just got it straightened. Talking about where's my bees at? You know what I mean? Yeah. Pimp it, and this is the manipulation and what we do. We go right into it, suck it up, because it appeals to our lust. And you know what? There's a scripture that says that. Let me read it right go ahead, quick. Go ahead. Acts 17, uh, 21. Right. For all the Athenians and strangers which were there spent their time in nothing else but either to tell... Or to hear some new thing. Right. Yo, I got these such and such. They I make money eat. from oh, me. Man. Oh, that's deep. Let me do that too. And you pimps up holes down. They made legends out of these dudes that were abusing themselves and their people. Yep. Doing all kind of vile, evil wickedness. But then you say, you know what? You're being manipulated by saying, Ah, oh, get that damn Bible out of here. I want to hear that damn Bible. And I don't want to hear that. And you'd rather have a hypocrisy in your own culture. Yes. You want to respect the black men, respect the black women, but yet you, uh, who's this cat today? Um, Snoop Dogg's spiritual Bishop advisor. Something, uh, Bishop Eddie Long, no, Don Juan or Don something. Don Juan with the something. green, the leprechaun. Yeah, yeah, the green. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, so that's the hypocrisy that it wasn't put there. It, they put it out there and we, we loved accepted. it. Because anything but the Bible. Right. Anything. Anything. Okay. So now, let's fast forward. Before we bring another scripture, I want to bring, uh -huh. because now we're getting into the era where more people can understand because of age. Yeah. What happened. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now, I'm going to play this thing right here, and I just want everybody to listen. Woke up quick at about noon, just thought that I had to be in Compton soon. Before the day begins, before my mother starts bent about my friends. About to go and down there went blind. Young niggas at the path throwing up gang signs. Ran in the house and grabbed my clip with the max 10 on the side of my hip. Held outside, pointed my weapon. Just as I thought, the fools kept stepping. Jumped in the boat, hit the juice on my ride. I got front and back and side to side. Then I let the Alpine play. Hey, I'm in the by the WA. It was gangster, gangster at the top of the list. Then I played my own and it went something like this. Cruising down the street in my sixth floor. Jocking the bitches, slapping the hoes. Sorry to about the that. To get the scoop. Knuckleheads out there, cold shooting to who? A car phone, who can it be? A fresh album in the rolling kilo G. Okay, sorry about that. I thought I had got it all out. Yeah, we try to try to edit all the curse words out. Sorry, we missed one. Sorry about that. Okay, so now when you look at this, right? This is another era. So yep. now, what did you have before this? You had what? Hip hop came out. Hey, wrap the party up. Hip hop party over here. Just party over there. Then it went into consciousness. Know yourself. Yeah. Stop this drug. Self destruction. Yeah. Gotta stop yep. self. And all the things in between that, right? Yep. So they had to come out with something what? 
Yep, they sent P.E. on a world tour and came up with a bunch of cats wearing the same Raiders hats and jackets, looking like them right. somewhat, and talking extreme madness. Right, so you go to sleep one night and wake up and all of a sudden rap is crap. Yep. Talking about killing after police, yep. and these dudes just blew the hell up. Yep. And what happened? We, we started it. learning things like terms like drive-by. Yep. Now... Before, a drive-by was an innocuous thing, right? You know, hey. It wasn't part of our culture. Yeah, no, you could, yeah, yeah, I saw Alan, he drove by. Yeah, right? well, yeah. He was driving <laughs> yeah, down the I street. saw somebody driving by. It ended up being a term where you yell drive-by, you better hit the floor, hit the deck, as you say in the Marines. Because yeah. somebody coming by to shoot. But now, how did this happen? Because now around this time, you couldn't get away from what? Boys in the hood, minister society, this gang, this gang, yep. the crack cocaine, yep. and all this other stuff just blowing the hell up. Yep. Right? So now, let's go to 2 Corinthians 4. I mean, we could have read Acts 17 again. We could have, yeah. 2 <laughs> Corinthians 4, and just start at verse, I want to start at 2, I think. Okay. Start at 1. No, start at 1, yeah. all the way to right. 4. 2 Corinthians 2, starting at 1, reading down to 4. Right. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, meaning quit not, mm -hmm. but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitly, deceitfully rather, mm -hmm. but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. So, hey, you know, you know, there's a good chance that, you know, the people that came over here in slave ship and some of the indigenous people that came over here before them, yeah. of the same family of people on the earth, they might be the chosen people of God. Get the hell out of there with that. You know, you got to repent. Uh, what the hell are you talking about? The white man wrote that Bible. I'd rather be a gangbanger. Hold on, wait a minute. You know, I gotta see. I gotta get my six fold. Uh, but think, think, think. If this is a, a white supremacist society, like mm -hmm. you say, mm -hmm. and the white man wrote the Bible, why was it such a powerful movement to get the Bible out of schools before they integrated the schools? Hey, what I'm saying is, the people have to understand that you are in what spiritual darkness. The scriptures are telling you that if the gospel is hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Because we'll deal with things all over the scriptures showing you how it relates to today, just like we're doing today. Yeah. And somehow, oh, you're twisted and you're going here and there and that and so on and so on. Don't even consider what's being said. Why? Because the God of this world, the prince of the power of the air, has you blinded. Mm -hmm. And all you can think to do is go into what? Your own lust. Now, when we look at the ravage, savage behavior of the gang culture from when these albums were all popular and that whole culture was developed among us. Look at the wasted lives and bodies that dropped. Yep. And men and women that yep. ended up in prison and jail yep. and destroyed their whole entire lives and their families' lives. Yep. Look at the carnage. Yep. Because you went along... With the with program. The, with the program that's being pushed and you being manipulated. Oh, Kool-Aid. Let me have some Kool-Aid. Right? So now, when you look at these things, it's, it's something that mm -hmm. we have to understand as part, of a, as part of a process. Let me say one thing Go right ahead. quick. Mm -hmm. um, the radio audience is about to get cut off. Okay. If you want to see the full video, go to Facebook. Right. And go to uh, the, the BOCC the, yeah, slash the, the BOCC. Yep, yeah, the uh, yeah Facebook slash the BOCC, or go into say, Facebook and search for the Body of Christ Church, and the video will pop up on that page. Right, yeah, so the Body of Christ. Yeah, the Body of Christ Church Facebook page. Just put facebook.com forward slash the BOCC. Yeah. So now we're going to lose our, uh, uh, our live radio audience and we're going to continue yeah. in about yeah. six minutes. But the point that you was going over, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's all right. I'm glad Because I would have forgot before and then right. I'm just saying it after they left. It, it's part of a process that's mm -hmm. been around and I said it with these manipulations mm -hmm. yeah. have been around for a long time. You yeah. can look in the Garden of Eden. Yeah. It's the same manipulation, the prince of the power of the air. Got her to what? Submit to her base mm -hmm. lust. 
Yep. And her base desires without filtering that thing through the most high and understanding that we have to follow him because he's our king. So now let's look at this. Go to um, Daniel 8. Daniel was given an understanding of a, a interpretation of a dream okay. based on the uh, Persian Mede king's okay. kingdom and his demise. And there's yep. something that he said about the king because he talked about um, a ram with two notable horns, yep. and then a, a goat, a he goat, yep. a rough came he up. goat yep. came up with one notable right. horn. And when you look at the prophecy, we ain't going to go in there, you can read it yourself. Mm -hmm. It explains to you that it's talking about the Persian Me yep. kingdom being overtaken and tramp trampled and destroyed by the Greek yep. kingdom, the Grecians, yes. as the scriptures say. But now we're still under that same what well, influence because from Greco-Roman times to till now, it's the, till same now it's the same setup. Yep. So this is what we have to understand. But this is what he was saying. Read twenty-five. What's yep. going to happen? And it's the same thing that we just read in Second Corinthians there you four. Go. Exactly. Daniel eight twenty-five. Right. And through his policy, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. Mm. And he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. Right. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. So now what we're going to see is in the end, guess what's going to happen? This thing is all going to come crashing down. Yep. It was a vision earlier that Daniel had where he told the uh, Babylonian king about a big rock that was taken out of a mountainside without hands yep. that crushed the that statue. statue that yep. was the image of all the kingdoms, including the miry clay and mixed, the mixed with iron, iron yep. that never really came together. That's where we are yep. right now. It's yep. very unstable. Yep. You know, because we all mixed up and they're trying to get this New World Order madness going on with all yep. this transgenderism and gayism and freakism and whatever Godism except the God of the Bible, and it's not mixing. So it's going to come to what? A screeching halt. That's what he said. It's going to be destroyed. But what's going to happen before that and while he's dealing with it? Yeah. Through his what? Policy. Why do you think they put stuff like that in our community for us to get sucked into? It's yeah. part of what? The plan. The yeah. overall plan. And you want to talk about, like, back in the 60s, the man. Now they just say the white man. It ain't, it's Satan. So it's, quit trying to identify yeah. a person. It's Satan and the what? Links you will go through to fall into what? His policy, mm -hmm. his craft, his deceit. Mm -hmm. For you to think you're getting something out of this. Mm -hmm. See, we got to wake up. We got to come out of the understanding of the prince of the power of the earth and deal with the understanding that the Most High gave us. So now, exactly. when you read this, it says this is what's going to happen. It's going to magnify itself mm -hmm. through science, media, technology, so on and so forth. Oh, we think it's, that's the crap. Oh, crap. this is no, such no, a no. great what is, what is, what look, people, the, look, what did they do back in the day before they had, uh, you know, computers? Yeah, well, they, they had hidden figures. That's right. what they did. Exactly. But, and that was they who on whose back did they build mm -hmm. stuff up? Right. It was our people. So, right. But the thing is, the craft. What the people that's high up in the powers that be call themselves, you know, brothers under the skin mm -hmm. or they're into a craft mm -hmm. or the, whatever their policy is right. that they do, they and they'll tell you, they put it out there. They put, say, listen, I gladly serve Satan. That's what I do. I got a, I got a, um, who the, um, Reagan's wife had a astrologer, astrologer, and a um, seance. Nothing without the astrologer, a, and a seance in the um, in the White House mm -hmm. with her, taking mm -hmm. counsel. Mm -hmm. You know, doing all these stuff, and then those scriptures even warn you in Isaiah about going into that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, but no, no, let's 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 worry more right. about them and right. what they do right. than about what we should do. Right, and see, that's the thing; it's more open now. People are readily saying that this is what they into. They yeah. into the worship of Satan. I saw myself to the devil. Jay Z walking around with a shirt that says "Do as thou wilt." That comes from what? The beast. The beast. Alistair Crowley that yep. says what? The whole of the law shall be what? Oh. Do as thou wilt. Hold on, wait a minute. A lot of people don't even understand. Oh, Jay Z and no, 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 no. Jay Z and don't you talk about my Jay Z? Yeah, and this is the thing that we're accepting these things based on what? 
what we're being manipulated into and what we have to do is we have to take the gross darkness off of our eyes and see the light, the light that is in Christ. Mm -hmm. People say the white man wrote the Bible. Okay. And I always ask this question. Simply, we had Juneteenth. Which one? What's his name? Which white man wrote the Bible? What is his name? <laughs> Can't tell you. You know why? The prince of darkness has blinded them and they believe a lie rather than the truth. That's why. But now, the reason I did with the, the movies from the 70s, the lines in the movies from the 70s, mm -hmm. Eddie Murphy talking to what um, young blood priest, Superfly, um, not Eddie Murphy, Eddie, his boy, the drug yeah. dealer, talking yeah. to his other drug dealer, the man, yeah. uh, young blood priest. Yeah. And then I dealt with... Um, um, Boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood. Uh, uh, yeah, easy E. Well, I have some more, but at the same time, I just want to deal with what it degenerated to. Oh, my Now, God. this is what they Prepare call yourself. rap now. Prepare I don't even yourself. have to apologize if any curse words in here because I couldn't find them. That's why I was laughing. Could be I know it's something in there. couldn't recognize them as English. Right. So this is what we've degenerated to based on what? What we're told, and our children are being fed this madness to say this is some kind of entertainment that needs to be praised or desired. Let's look at this. What is it saying? My ear is bleeding. Okay, listen, listen. There was a guy, uh, a rapper back in the day, Cool G Rap. He used to rap fast like that. But this dude got a twist. All I know for real is Bras in Atlanta, credit cards, in my fanny. And then there was some dude in the background going, Blit! <laughs> I said I wasn't going to laugh because I was up last night laughing. The name of the song is Panda. What did it got to do with a panda? Did he say? Think, that's what he was saying when you said, what is he saying? Panda, 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 Oh! Panda. He was saying okay. panda. Yeah. Man, you would say panda. But these, uh, I ain't going to even diminish. Late 90s babies. Yeah. Crack babies. I ain't going to even blame that on crack. This is what they degenerated, and they. This is a hit record. No, it's not. The dude is named Designer. I think his name is. Yeah. And I had to search this stuff on the internet because I don't know this stuff. Who's the top mumble rappers? And it's yeah. like you come up with a term because these dudes are like retarded. Yeah. So but no, 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 no. Come up don't, with a term, don't you, mumble. Don't, don't say that, dude. Don't say that word. Right. Retarded. Because there is a so-called retarded rapper named Lance, oh, Lance, L-A-N-Z-E. Right. Uh, that sounds better than that. Well, So you they, can't call that dude, they're retarded. This is the degeneration. And it's being pushed by what? The prince of the power of the air. Because all these dudes, they got 90 million tattoos all over their body. Teardrops, gun tattoos, and this is that. And I'm like, what? Our people. Am I like one of the few people that can see the destruction of our people? This is what the, the rappers used to have to like you can, write you can, a rhyme. You could talk or memorize it in their head with an right. eidetic, eidetic memory, right. but that's not necessary anymore. The, the, the thing that's going on, you have to understand Jay Z um, is not the power that be behind the industry. Right. All right. The industry is being pushed by the powers that be to select this instead of a much more qualified individual because they want to push a certain agenda. Exactly. And that goes, of course, to the the course of the prince of the powers of the air because they want exactly. people to be children of disobedience right. and have all these tats right. and have this and have right. that that they shouldn't do. Right. And see, the thing about it is we just dealing with one little minute area. We ain't dealing with the education system. Because what are they doing in the education system? Gen a boy Purposely. ain't a boy anymore. Purposely. A girl ain't a girl anymore. They're educating our kids from a young age how to have sex, mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? For yeah. three years, four, four or five years old, they did them. This is just one aspect. The education system, the, the job situation in this country is atrocious. Politics, you can't even get into a, 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 a political debate anymore. Because if I say, hey, you know Donald Trump brought more, oh, you know Uncle Tom, and, and you just well, state fact or truth. Or you know what, Barack Obama you know was I, uh, bombing, you know, all these countries like more than any other president did. Uh, you a hater, you hate your own people, no, no, you a, no, you you a know sellout. What, you know what I always say? I always say, you know, Trump and Hillary are... are Cousins, so whichever one was in play, you was either going to get control or controlled opposition. So because you don't run that, when, when there was no black people in there when it said we the people, right? You know, so it's not for us, right? So now when you look at this whole setup, I mean, it's just all is designed for our destruction and failure, and we we willingly go into it, just like in the sixties. It wasn't just a passe thing to deal with abortion because all the black nationalist groups were talking about how they were trying to kill us, which they still are. But through media manipulation, oh my God. it's just another form of birth you control. Can't. It's a woman's right to choose. You misogynist you pig, you, don't. to say anything negative oh about God. the racist founder of it, Margaret Sanger and Planned Parenthood, and all the racist eugenics people before her. And this, is a, and this is what happens because why? They're being educated and they're being coached and promoted and, 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 and pushed by the prince of the power of the air and all things that are wicked accordingly. I don't know how you could ever say Planned Parenthood killed more black people than the Confederate flag. You're crazy. Yeah, I know. But it's true. So it doesn't matter how true it is. This is what they're dealing with. So we can see just in that one yeah. little arena, the the entertainment it's, media, yeah, the effects and the things that happen on our people, if you really think about what we were dealing with, with the clips we were playing. But let's deal with remedies now. Okay, I yeah, because I just don't want you to ever say the word design for about two weeks because it's going to make me have a flashback. <laughs> I just, Desire. <laughs> oh, no, dude, I just uh, asked you to say that. Like, you're giving me a brain freeze. All right, so now let's deal with something. Let's go to okay. Proverbs real quick, 4. Okay. Read verses 5 through 7. Okay. Mm -hmm. Proverbs, there we go. Proverbs 4, starting at 5. Mm -hmm. Get wisdom, get understanding, mm -hmm. forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. So now when we deal with wisdom and understanding, people think that just because you got no guidance, you, you've been a prisoner in prison. Oh, yeah, you know, and you've been in prison for 25 years. Oh, you got to get with that dude because he's got wisdom. He might have experience, right, in certain things, mm -hmm. but you can't count that to the wisdom that this is talking about. It says get wisdom, right? It says get wisdom, and, and, excuse me, get wisdom, get understanding. See, that's the problem. People will read something out of the Bible that don't set well with them and then they'll dismiss it. Mm -hmm. Because you're not understanding what is being said and what mm -hmm. we're being instructed in. What you're doing is you're connecting and being what moved by the prince of the power of the earth to go into your base lust and your desire to do what it is you will. Not to do and understand that we have no power to do what we will and be accepted by the Father if we don't follow His will. That's the point. So now when we deal in this, it says get wisdom, get understanding. Then it tells us that wisdom is the what? Base thing. Yeah. The, 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 the base of what you build on. Right. It's not base as right. in uh, right. debased exactly. or low right. morals. It's the principle does not mean head of a school here. Right. It means the main, main. Part, the main point. thing, yeah, right. the main point. To get it to. says, so get wisdom with all thy getting. Get what? Understanding. Understanding. So don't be a educated fool, as yeah. my father and mother used to tell me back in the day. Yeah. You know what the books say, but you don't have any practical application knowledge about life or anything. Yep. All you, are, and that's what we deal with, that's what's crafting this world pretty much. A bunch of educated fools. 
because they come up with policies and so on and so forth. And a lot of them are to destroy a certain select group of people, but yes. then a lot of them just don't make any darn sense whatsoever. Exactly. Because it's in the book. Oh, I wrote the book and I, I'm the guru. But now let's deal with something though. Let's continue on. Why is it imperative for us to understand the remedy for us to get out of the what? Influence of the prince of the power of the world. What's going to help us? Go to Isaiah 33 and 6. Read that. Okay. And we'll close out and, with one more scripture after that and let you know something. Yeah, and thank you so much for not playing any more current <laughs> rap music than that. All right. Um, and not and definitely for not any more current R&B. You know? <laughs> Isaiah 33 and 6. Right. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So two things. Wisdom and knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. Stability. Yep. We're in unstable, perverse times right now. Mm -hmm. Look at the world we live in. Simple things like a boy is not a boy, a girl is not a girl. Right? But when they come out, if it's got a... We oui, we oui, it's a boy, right? No, I no, mean, no. I don't know. I don't know because I mean, you know. So all the 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 observable. I'm not talking about internal biology. Right. I'm talking about all the observable biology up to this time has been far. So if I'm in if I'm in the woods hunting a deer and I see some deer tracks, I'm not going to go after it because that's a pig. Yeah, exactly. So this is the thing, right? So we live in a world where. We need stability. The stable thing is what? Knowledge and wisdom, right? Right? That's going to be the stability, Isaiah 33 and 6. That's right. going to be what stabilizes us in this unstable, uncertain world. Mm -hmm. And then what would it add? It would add what? Strength to our salvation. Mm -hmm. But now, what do we need knowledge and wisdom in? Go to 2 Timothy 3, read verse 15. Yeah. This is what's going to keep us, and keep us out of the what, the 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 the, 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 the influence of the <laughs> devil. Excuse me. Yeah. Which is madness. Yeah. We won't be so easily manipulated because I guarantee you, you put that song Panda on, you're gonna see a bunch of them get ah! doing. You know, that's my song. Really? And it's like, what is he saying? I don't know. Something about credit cards and holes in the ladder. And this is what we developed to. Um, this is what we attain our goals, lofty goals to. Because, you know, a lot of these young Negroes want to be what? Rappers. And this is it. Yeah, I remember I had a, a two turntables and a mixer when right. I was a kid. Exactly. So now, go read and, that. And story. my parents was looking at me like, are you crazy? <laughs> I'm going to okay. read Isaiah 33 and 6 again. It says, okay. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Wisdom and knowledge in what? Read the scripture. Bro. 2 Timothy 2.15 And from that a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. So the wisdom and the knowledge is of the holy scriptures. Because that's the only hope that you have. That's the only hope that we have as a people to deal with this, the Most High's word and his understanding and what to follow through. We should not be applauding these vile things that are put upon our people in this earth. We should be what? Condemning them. Like Ephesians 5 says. Mm -hmm. Don't rejoice in the evil works of darkness. What? Mm -hmm. Reprove them. Yeah. But see, when you do that and you step out like that, people do what? Look at you like something's wrong with you. Because uh -huh. you're not going around long with the masses. Mm -hmm. But the scriptures have showed us. One more scripture. Let's yeah, read. Yeah. Go to Titus 2 and then we'll end it here. Okay. What has the scripture shown us? Start at verse uh, Titus 2. Oh, let me get it first. 2 and... 11. 11. Yeah, start there. Titus 2 11. Mm -hmm. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should... <laughs> Live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. So now, when we get that strength of salvation, we get the understanding and the knowledge of this Holy Scriptures give us that, we start to what? Live accordingly. We have to learn how to live accordingly. Mm -hmm. We have to live, why? Because that's what Christ came teaching us. Yeah. That we should live what? Godly and soberly. Clear-minded, not easily distracted, 
to go into our lust and go into degenerate behavior because it's the popular, trendy thing to do. Yeah. That's what we have to deal with. That's what the prince of the power of the air promotes, and that's what we have to avoid. We have to deal with, read that again. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. So, having said that, we the brothers from the body of Christ Church, yeah. we can be reached at one eight seven seven eight seven one one seven one two. And uh, we hope our people hear this word and repent. And we say shalom. Peace.